Welcome to Pastor Andrew's Inspirations. Do you know about the parable of the wheat and tares? In Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 30 it reads, Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat, and went away. But when the blade was sprung up, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the household came and said to him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. This is also read in the Gospel of Thomas 57. This is a separate publication from the Bible, where Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a man who had good seed. His enemy came by night. He sowed darnel among the good seed. The man did not allow the servants to pull up the darnel. He said to them, Lest you go to pull up the darnel, and then pull up the wheat along with it. For on the day of the harvest, the darnel will be apparent, and it will be pulled up and burned. This parable basically says that during the final judgment, the angels will separate the sons of the evil one the tares or weeds, from the sons of the kingdom, the wheat. It follows the parable of the sower and precedes the parable of the mustard seed. According to the common interpretation, the good seeds are the spiritual children of Jesus Christ. And the weeds are the rest of the population of the earth that are the spiritual children of Satan. The word translated tares in the King James Version is zizania, plural of zizanyan. This word is thought to mean darnel or lolium tumulentum, which is a ryegrass which looks much like wheat in its early stages of growth. <clears throat> Roman law prohibited sowing darnel among the wheat of an enemy. Many translations use weeds instead of tares. Interpretation is provided by Jesus in Matthew chapter 13 where it says then Jesus sent the multitudes away and went into the house. His disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the darnel weeds of the field. He answered them, He who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seed, these are the children of the kingdom and the darnel weeds are the children of the evil one. The enemy who sowed them is the devil. 
the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. As therefore the darnel weeds are gathered up and burned with fire, so will it be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that cause stumbling, and those who do iniquity, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine forth like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let them hear. Until next video, keep watching and sharing. May God's blessings be upon you.